now we get to hear from Torin herself about this issue of public records requests. She doesn't say much. You notice how she doesn't say much of anything during these meetings. But she's going to comment on what it would take to bring up to date their public record system, I guess. I mean, this whole presentation is full of contradictions because first, those, those two lawyers said they didn't do anything wrong, and then they said, well, they're not doing, they're not keeping up with other agencies and, do, and getting the job done. And, and now, what is she going to say about it? I mean, you can't really see what they're trying to They're all over the place, but listen to what she has to say about it. Yeah, I gave you the punchline, right, I mean, I gave right. you the line by line, but, um, you know, the, I think the thing that you need to know is that this is going to take place in a couple of phases. First, we have to figure out what it is that we have, and we need to get rid of what we don't need anymore, and then we will create this docu document map. We will interview all of the departments. Um, so we will have the map, but there will also be an ongoing process of actually getting the physical paper records into electronic form, and that will take years. Um, the second part of the process will be the evaluation of the software that we already have, we understand that there are components that they call snap-ons that may be able to be added to software that we already have, which would save us money. I just want to throw out the price tag for you because, um, and give you a little bit of sticker shock here, because the city of Beaverton looked at doing this very same thing about four or five years ago as a result of some litigation with Nike. And the price tag there was $5 million. So when, and I recognize that when you think about this, you're thinking about new buses and new service, um, just as I'm sure the general manager, when I ask for an additional FTE, he's thinking about having you know, additional personnel to do the work of transit. And um, so my hope is that we can leverage what we have, but I guarantee you we'll be back with an ask from you. The whole presentation is a deflection of, of responsibility here. It doesn't, they keep, what she's pleading basically is they can't find the records. Well, I don't believe it, and uh, I, I don't believe it for a second. When I asked for Fred Hansen's pension, that's a fairly cut and dry request. It took them 90 days to get back to me on it, 90 days. And you can't tell me in that situation that they couldn't find the records. They had the records, they didn't want to release the records, okay? When I just recently asked for, uh, the, the field operations reports, the same exact reports I used to get for free when I was an operator, they want $1,700 for that now. Not addressed. None of, the, none of the important issues are addressed by Torin. She's putting forth the argument. It's like a cover your ass presentation here. You see what they've done? They've, they've created this situation where they're saying to the public, oh, we can't find the documents. Well, I don't believe them. I think they're lying. I, I really do. I think it's another case of these people making up bullshit to cover their ass. She's saying they can't find the documents. I don't believe it for a second. I, I don't believe them. I think they're liars. That's just my, my opinion on it.